Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got so trouble, 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 trouble. Ask my carrier, this long distance, like T-Mobile Y'all on that sprint shit, don't make me pull up the niggas you dip with Get a casket, see if you can fit in this house, gonna work out huh? When the homies don't want me to murk out They don't dumb shit as soon as the word out I got through bread, comes all these birds out In the gas wars, then I swerve out uh, The nerve of these niggas make me nervous A nigga knock a nerve out uh. yeah. Trouble, 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 trouble Trouble, 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 Let's get this thing started. So this, you know, I got a topic today, you know what I mean? Like the news be cool, but sometimes, you know, what I've been starting to do it is what I'm calling an unpopular opinion. I know there may have been people who have said that, but this is an unpopular opinion about my unpopular opinion, where I just give you the thoughts about a certain subject matter in battle rap, and I'll have different ways that things could be done and shit like that. You know, more concepts, you know what I'm saying? So, um, <sighs> K. Shine. Salute to K-Shine and everything that he's got going on. Uh, he's put out a new single, Trouble. He said he was got some movie stuff coming up. I love to see people progress and move in their career. His birthday just passed. Happy belated. And uh, he's, he's trying to get back into the battle rap thing, you know what I'm saying? But I must say, the politics and everything that's involved in the battle rap culture have now gotten involved with a lot of the artists, you know what I'm saying? I of my fans wanting to see me work so okay. I almost settled for another fucked up situation to yeah, clean up another fucked up situation that both wasn't my fault you get what I'm saying I see. so it, it kind of when I really sat back and think about it it's like yo I be a fool bro nah bro so like I, 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 I support everything niggas got going with they double impact shit and all of that shit and ain't no Kishan up here you feel me you feel me and it could have been if niggas just do the right thing but you feel me I, listen, bro. I, 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 I ain't going. I, for me, nah. tweets. I hear the things that are going on behind the scenes, and you all got to make this. Y'all, y'all got to get back with K Shine, and I'm gonna tell you six ways. I got six different reasons why K Shine needs to be on URL right now, or needs they need to make that situation right because it's a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'll start here. I was um. Looking at some battles, cause like when I do this, I'm gonna start, you know, I wanna look at battles, I wanna, you know, see, think, you know what I mean? You know, you got the greatest people that do documentaries like Chris Unbiased and all these niggas that do great, great documentary style work. And I'm like, if there's a point, you should have reference points and things that you saw, you know what I'm saying? Salute to him and everybody else who do their thing too, you know what I'm saying? These niggas is great at what they do. They actually keep me sharp, still sharp and still. So, I, 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 I was watching K-Shine versus Tay Rock. Like, this is 12 years ago. This was so long ago that there were still times on the bottom of the screen. Tay Rock's name was spelt with a K. They so they can settle their differences. Let's see who has what it takes. Let this is how long this was ago. And K-Shine has been there. You know, battling. He been through the Dot Mob era, the Zip Em Up era, the Battling Sue Surf. Name in Elizabeth. To go out, she had to get a permission slip. Like, he was on y'all summer, man, this is K-Shine been around forever. Him and DNA revolutionized two-on-twos. I'm not going to say they're the best ever. I'm not going to say they're the first ones who did it, because I remember the Scribble Jam. I remember the way, way, way back in the day, day, days with the Ilmax and Thesauruses and Marv Ones and Quest. So I would never, ever, ever disrespect any of those legends in their two-on-twos. But I will say that this, when the two-on-two thing came back around, these two, DNA, K-Shine, they went around the globe battling people. They were in St. Louis where the little friction almost popped off. They had the, uh, don't touch me again, if you touch me I'm a swing on neighborhood crit, something like, they had the beef. They had before the shot Shumpert, after the shot Beasley. They had that, Skrrr, pull up like the fast six, crash whips. Like they had those moments versus 
uh, when, when they battled again. Before the shot, Troy, uh, after the shot, Irvin Plaza, they had huge moments on the platform. To see where this has gone, k hasn't battled on URL this year. Like, we're heading towards July, and this man has not had a battle. And it leads me, because uh, this is just my preface to the situation as to why it should be fixed and what they should do to try to mitigate it. Now, you know, I'm just a nigga with a camera, so, I mean, please, <laughs> it's just me, you know what I'm saying? The guy from, see, the difference with me, when I do what I do, I do what I'm doing, but I do it like I'm doing it for TV. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, it, that's the difference. And I wanted to get this out for y'all lunch break people. Salute to the lunch, lunch gang, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, I know y'all watching, and y'all little break rooms, got your headphones on, some of y'all are in your car, some of y'all heading to Chick-fil-A, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's get this together, I wanna do this right quick. So, um, K-Shine has been around forever. He's been an ambassador to the brand, you know, he bigged up URL a lot. Uh, he battled in a couple small little places, you know, maybe uh, over here, over there, a time or two, but never nothing too big or nothing that made you feel like he was never still aligned with URL. And rightfully so, he's a grown man with a family. He should be able to wiggle around and get a little bread. If King of the Dot has a card coming up and they want to throw a little shine on there, get, let him go get that quick money because he's been around so long. He's helped you build your brand. The league owners help to build a brand, but guess what? The artists are the backbones of who build these brands. Because without the artists, there ain't nothing. There is no league that's going to survive without the artists. And this has been said a thousand times, if not once. The artists are the backbone. So for somebody that has helped you build your brand and get it to where it's a global entity, he should be a priority. He should be an A1 priority. I'm not treating LeBron James how I'm treating Booby Gibson. How many times do I have to say this? He has been a franchise player. He's been a villain. He's been the bad guy. He's been the A side to a B side. He had the Hitman beef. He had the Rock joint. He had the K-Shine. How many times has this man stepped to the, to the forefront and been the face of a main event on a big card? This is K-Shine we're talking about. We're not talking about a Crucible guy. We're not talking about a Born Legacy guy or a guy that, that they're sealing his uh, Civil War. And it leads me to my reasonings, you know what I'm saying? And I got them all written down. I got a hundred pages of notes in this motherfucker. So I want y'all to know I'm sincere when I think about this. Reason number one, K-Shine is a three level star. Three levels. And I say three levels, this is my unpopular opinion. I made this up while I was thinking of this. Three levels. He can dominate in the small rooms versus the, 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 the freestyle circuit with the chicken, chicken, chicken scratch circuit where they go around and just battle on Taco Bell Battle League and all. He can dominate there, small league circuit. He can dominate on the mid-level. You put him on Civil War, you put him on a volume card. Volume is about the top of the mid. I wouldn't go, volume is like, it's a mid card, but it has high level names on it, but it's not a big level, big stage event. So follow me. Number one, he could clean up the small level talent Number two, he's a volume star. He's won on volumes before. He had chess on there, went crazy versus him. He beat E. Hart in one of them rooms too. He's that level star. And then he's a big stage star too. So this is three level star that's been doing this over 10 years. You need these kind of guys on your roster now. Not yesterday, not the day before. I understand there may have been shit happening between y'all. There may have shit been happening between him, but y'all gotta find a, mid, a middle ground. You are six months into the year without a marquee event. Y'all can call me a hater, y'all can save it for later, but I am not lying. The reaction to what just happened last weekend was not good. I'm sorry. There was a couple good teams that did their thing, but overall, the event was lackluster. I will say that. I'm expecting stars. Wow. Before the shot, Shumpert. After the shot, Beasley. Big T fingers after lunch, doing greasy. That's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting big things. Now, there was a team, some teams that did have some big moments, but overall, the, the multitude of everything was not superior to what it's been. So, he's a three-level star. And he's been doing it for over a decade. So that makes it even crazy. He's reinvented himself, a, a, like changed his flow. When people were saying he was doing that, uh, I put the arm out the window, that's a drive-by, then I get to shooting because you gas. that's a wild wild, blah, 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 when they was doing them four bar sell-ups, you know, like, you know what the fuck I'm talking about, that flow, he switched it up, he started doing some different things, like, he started switching up his flow, 
who changed? I spin shots and I send shots and I aim. That's the flu game. Like he was wilding. You don't let this kind of talent walk out the door for civil disobedience. It's not like the man went and battled on another league. It's not like he said f y'all. It's not. I mean, he y'all. You know, y'all had y'all issues. But he sounds like he's at least willing and receptive to a conversation. You, I, you don't let three level stars walk away. They just did that with the other guy. I don't even have to mention his name. The algorithm king. You just let another three-level star walk away. You want to do it again? Like how many times? <laughs> how many times y'all gotta learn the same lesson? <laughs> That's fine. I'm gonna keep that one too. How many times y'all gotta learn the same lesson? You just let a three-level star walk away. You gonna let another one walk away? Okay, we'll see how that goes. So that's reason number one. <sighs> reason number two is that he wants to have battles that are not gimmicks. He wants real battles. That's a reason why you should want him back. He don't want to battle somebody that's the performance, that, that wants to be a performance king, so they want to battle him for the performance slot. Or somebody who called him out in his spaces, so now he got to battle them. He does not want to do that. He wants to battle legacy battles. He said he wants Daylight. He said he wants Iron Solomon. He said he wants names like that. Kayshawn been around so long and been doing this for so long, he should get who he wants. He should get who he wants. What is the... That's a good reason because having K-Shine in good battles is going to do nothing but benefit your platform. It's going to give people things to talk about. It's going to take their mind off of all the fuck shit that's going on right now that's been going on. You know, it's going to take everybody's mind off of it. It's going to give them something to watch, something to value. You know what I mean? Like, yes, K-Shine has had his ups and downs. He's won on big stages and he's lost in small rooms. Him and Chilla was not a good look for him. I didn't think he should have took Chilla anyway. But at that point, he was on a streak and he was running, so he took what was coming. So that's number two, right? And number three, he's going to bounce and go somewhere else. K-Shine is going to bounce and go somewhere else. Do you think he's not going to battle in 2023? The man has a family, and I don't think he's working overnights at Amazon. I wouldn't. Why would I be back? <laughs> Why is k -Shine... So I know he got bread. You know what I'm saying? His situation's right. He moved down to Atlanta. You don't think people are calling his phone? You don't think people would love to get him on their platform just to throw it in y'all face? Like, is what's going on that important to where you can't even protect your blind side? You have to get him back. Because if he ends up on Chrome 23 or Max Out... And he's in a face-off and he's talking his talk. You know how crazy that's going to look? You have to get him back. There's, what, he's, 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 you going to take him to court too? You going to take k Shine to court? You know how crazy it would look to take an MC that y'all had for 12 years to court over going somewhere else? Because y'all, you would look crazy. I know y'all don't mind looking crazy. I mean, with text messages and all the shit y'all got going on right now. I know y'all don't mind looking crazy. But you'll look even crazier than you have ever looked if you take a nigga next Shine. He battled rock with the K in his name. And this is where we're at right now. So that's another reason, because K-Shine's going to bounce. He said he done spoke to GTX, he done spoke to ARP, he done spoke to Remy. You think these niggas are calling him to figure out uh, who he think is going to win the NBA Finals? Do you think they're calling him to figure out what color is his next car going to be? Do you think they're calling him to figure out, oh, man, would you go with, uh, would you go with polyester or would you go with synthetic? They're calling him to figure out what is he going to do. Does he want to battle? Is he getting on a car? K-Shine is not going to one of them leagues and battling nobody. He's going to get a big name on somewhere and y'all are going to look crazy. That's number three, right? Reason number four, he's a legend and he's put in the work for y'all to fix it. Like I just previously mentioned some in the last statement. He is a legend. K-Shine is not a mid-tier battler. He's not. Then they'll be mad on Twitter if I name you. Y'all know the niggas we talking about. Just because they've been around forever, we consider them good. K-Shine is a legend. He is a legend. He has to be in a situation where he feels like he's respected. You know what I'm saying? And when you do moves like this, like he battled Hollow, y'all released his worst battle. His Pat State battle ain't come out. His real sick battle ain't come out. His easy battle ain't come out. His chest battle ain't come out. His E heart battle ain't come out. They got like 10, 15 battles that they could have released, but you released his worst content. Not worst, but the battle that he clearly didn't win. He is a legend. You need to get it right. That's the reason. That, that's enough of a reason. <sighs> reason number five. The fans side with the artist. You see what's happening with the other artists y'all just let walk out the door. 
it is so it's so big to a point now where I don't even have to say the dude name and y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all let him walk out. The fans sided with him. The fans sided with him. They did. If you don't know, if you see it online, they're right, they tweet about it, they unsubscribe, they copped his event, they supported his event, they rushing him to release the battles. He just released one yesterday. Y'all know it's easy. I, I mean, you already know who I'm talking about. So I, I mean it is what it is. But he's like the fans side with the artists. I understand you have a huge platform. People still going to support. People still going to watch. But the man was mentioned in every single battle. Everyone. By damn near both teams. You want to have this shit happen again with K-Shine? Do you want to have this happen again with K-Shine? I, I, I couldn't envision that. And the reason why is because as a fan, you're subscribed to your artists. You want to see them perform. You buy their merch. You listen to their music. Sometimes we listen to music from artists that's just okay. It's not even great music, but it's the fact that somebody that you rock with, somebody that you really, you know what I'm saying, you'll listen to it anyway. You know, even if it's just in your gym playlist or something like that, you'll give them that much respect. And the fans, they buy tickets to see the artists. They don't buy tickets to see the league owners. They don't buy tickets to see the block battles or what's politics or who don't like who. They don't buy tickets for that. They buy tickets to see the artist. So that's definitely, um, you know what I'm saying, that, that's definitely a reason why, is that the fans side with the artist. And when the fans side with the artist, whatever the artists do is what they're gonna support. Some will do it just because it'll make you look bad or just because they can, uh, they can, do, they can just do other things, you know what I'm saying? And finally, y'all are not in favor with the public right now. I'm just being honest. There are a lot of people in public who feel how they feel about what the, everything that y'all got going on. And, you know, a lot of people paid <clears throat> for Norm Impact. And I don't know if, I mean, I know every single battle didn't deliver. I hear other people's reactions. I hear Verb. I, I mean, I know Verb's and Broiler in a super beef with them. So, you know, it is what it is. But it's not just him. <laughs> it's not just him. It's a lot of people that are feeling like, you know, artists are being forced and this, that, and the third. I see it. I hear it. I receive some of it. And I speak on what I feel like I need to speak on. But... All of those reasons are reasons why K-Shine, you or else should fix their situation with K-Shine. Regardless of what it may be, if it's a dollar amount, he's saying it's not about money. So if it's not about money, what is it about? If, it's, if he's saying he don't owe y'all, what is it about? You know, I know the Jack Boy battle didn't happen because the Jack Boy means health situation at the time. But what does it have to do with K-Shine? Like, the artists are sick of pulling up to battles or about to be battling somebody back out the day before. I done flew into town, I'm here, I'm ready to go. That should cost something. You can't just punt that to the next event and say, oh, you're going to battle him again in three weeks. You know what I'm saying? And it takes away, like I said, in public favor. I'm seeing stories that Ace on Mean and Trufo got to battle again. They had the one battle on Friday. It was horrible. Uh, Trufo choked in every round. And they got to battle again the next day. Nobody cares. Guess what? We're not recapping that. I don't care who won. Ace on Mean, 3-0. <laughs> it is what it is. You know? But that's a battle that Shine could have. Like Ace Ami, you know, like I'm saying it's a lot of battles that he hasn't had. Iron Solomon, Daylight, Twerk is still out there. I know you say they don't want it, but still, there's battles out there for him. You got a lot of work. And another thing, well, I'll just put this in there too, is that URL needs stars right now. This is a bonus one. They need stars. What you gonna do, Rock? Have Rock battle every fucking card for the rest of the year? Against everybody, like Rock done battle, Slade, Snake Eyes, Ryder, Swervo. Nigga, y'all running out of niggas for him to battle. The nigga on the street that he tried to kick. Like, bro, like, <laughs> y'all are running out of battles to even give the man. He done battle everybody on the platform. You need stars, URL. I don't have to work for y'all. Y'all don't, don't have to like my opinion. I really don't care because at the end of the day, uh, like Chris Unbiased said in his joint the other day, when you meet here, when you first come in, you're young, you're impressionable. You'll do things, you know what I'm saying? Like you'll work for companies for free and yada, yada, yada. But once you get to a certain point, you don't need, I don't need a league no more. Only thing I need a league to do is release content. Drop battles, that's it. I've shown that. I don't need a league. What I need a league for? We've never been sponsored by any league. We've never been, that's why we got to a position that we got. Without a league, I don't need a league. What I need a league for? I just need the battles. I could buy them. I could purchase a pay-per-view. So we need the artist to be able to, to make this happen. You know, we do most of this joint without using content, you know what I'm saying? Without using bars, I mean, we say the bars, but without using a bunch of videos because the people come here for us. We are the entity. I don't have an artist up here every week. I don't have an artist up here every day. How many times y'all see an artist up here? One time. I don't have artists. I don't need artists. I only need them to perform. 
That's what I'm saying. Like, there's very few of us that do this that don't need the artist. Not saying I don't need them per se, but I don't need them in my house. I don't need them in my studio. I can talk about them and extrapolate my, my opinion, and that's just that. So, with a guy like K. Shine, he is an algorithm king. You know how many views? <laughs> you know how much money we missing out here fucking with y'all? That nigga recap with Hitman did like 150. I talk about him at Rock, that's gonna do 100,000. Like, the streets need the work, B. And if it ain't as serious as it's supposed to be, uh, you all gotta make that shit right, man. Cause at the end of the day, when you all thriving and doing good and having good events, we all win. Fans get better content, but media gets better shit to blog about, et cetera, et cetera. I know a lot of people feel like it's, oh, it's an anti-URL, it's an anti-hate thing. It's not an anti-anything, it's an anti-fuck shit. Like, come on, dog. we supposed to be from the streets, we'll be doing this, that, and the third. If niggas want to battle, like, nigga could go get some money, right? Why you can't go get no money? I don't understand that mentality. If, if it's a black man and he could get an opportunity to get some bread just to do something right quick and come back, like, bro, what are we doing here? This is just my unpopular opinion. You don't have to watch it. I'm just tailing off now. But what was easy going to get a quick 30, 40, 50 grand and coming right back across the street going to hurt anybody? That wasn't going to hurt anybody. The man just wanted a YouTube drop. But it needs to be so caught up and so in their ways that nigga can't even go get no money, bro. Like, how, you know how many situations could have been could have been great if you would have just paid or you would have just gave the person the money? Like, even back me, I'm not working for nobody for free. Like, that's not going to happen. Like, I know a lot of people get caught in that mentality where they'll do that. But, dog, I'm not doing it. I got kids. I got house. I got light. I got cable. I got gas. Ain't none of that free. So I couldn't, I'm just sorry, I couldn't work for nobody for free. So when I hear Sean saying that they used to battle for free, he was battling back in the days when he was battling for free. I know about it because I was blogging back in the days for free when he was doing battles for, <laughs> we was freeway. Even though what? We was doing it the freeway. We still hustled till the sun come up. I used to see Sean in different locations like small league shit. I'd be in uh, fucking... Maryland, I see this nigga pop up battling a nigga on a car. I see, I be in North Carolina, him and DNA coming through the battle of nigga. They show up like 10 minutes before the event, show up battling nigga and leave because they heading to go get some more money. These niggas went across the country grinding with this shit. I know, Sean will tell you, I done seen this nigga in places. I'm like, damn, you here? What you doing in Memphis? Oh, I got a one round now about to battle this nigga. Boom, he's battling nigga and bounce because he was on the grind to get that money. If somebody been down with you from the gutter, that been grinding with you, you gotta show them some love and respect when y'all get, even if y'all have a spat, you know what I'm saying? Like, SP's my brother. I would never get into a position where I'm up and I'm like, yo, come on, I gotta bring you with me. Like, you got to come with me. I gotta, I gotta have you, you know what I mean? So, it is what it is, man, but those are the reasons why you are on these K-Shine back ASAP. And the number one reason, but out of all of those, if I was to pick the best one, is it's because he's gonna bounce and go somewhere else. Like, he's gonna walk right off and go somewhere else. And then they're going to be looking even crazier. You already know what it is. Subscribe to the channel. And y'all have a wonderful day. Gang. This long distance, like T-Mobile. Y'all on that sprint shit. Don't make me pull up the niggas you dip with. Get a casket. See if you can fit in this house. Gonna work out. Huh? When the homies don't want me to murk out. They don't dumb shit as soon as the word out. I got through bread, comes all these birds out. If you gas wars, then I swerve out. Uh, the nerve of these niggas make me nervous. A nigga knock a nerve out. Uh. Yeah. Trouble, 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 trouble.